Hey everybody, it's David with Cyber City Circuits. I have a small problem right now. I have to make a reverse mount LED footprint. Let's go. So here's the part right here. And you can see it's a reverse mount LED. And if I click on the data sheet on the DigiKey page, it'll take me right to the data sheet. Let's go front page. It's perfect. It gives you all the dimensions uh, for the product. And if I go to page three, I get the recommended layout. Let's take a look at that real quick. A few dimensions, there's only four dimensions we care about. The height of the pad, the width of the pad, how far apart the pads are from each other, and how big the hole needs to be in the center. So normally this part will have a hole in the middle for the light to shine through. We use these in making badges by removing the solder mask and it shines through the fiberglass substrate. Here I am at KeyCAD. I'm going to go to Footprint Editor. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save the footprint. So let's call this PLCC2 Reverse Mount LED. I'm going to take these references and I'm going to move them away. We'll bring them back later. And I'm going to place a pad right there. Let me pull up the drawing again real quick. And you can see it's 1.4 by 2.6. So let's change this pad to 1.4 to 2.6. And now I need two of them, right? So I'll put the other one over there. How far apart are they from each other? 5.2 millimeters. Well, that's easy enough. So I'm going to change this to a negative 2.6 uh, with a zero on the Y coordinate. And I'll set this to a positive 2.6 with zero in the Y coordinate. Perfect. This right here is the soldering footprint. Now, a couple things about the pads. We need to make sure that the paste layer is checked and the mass layer is checked. If you don't have the mass layer checked, it's going to put copper down, but then it's going to put solder mask over the copper and you won't be able to actually solder to it. Next, we're going to renumber pads. So I'm going to right click, renumber pads. And I click on the first pad. I click on the second pad and that's it after that we're going to put down our mask polygon so i'm going to go to mask i'm going to go to circle i guess it's not a polygon it's a circle and i'm going to edit its properties i'm going to put it right at the center at zero zero and then the hole is supposed to be 3.2 the radius is 1.6 and i'm going to make it a filled shape look at that isn't that great now let's draw some polarity markings around it. I'm going to go to the silk screen. I'm going to go to line. And I'm just going to put a line right there. And that's my polarity marking. Now up here I got my references. We got to move those back down. Those have to be somewhere. And on my badges when I use these LEDs, I leave the reference designator off. And if I pull up the footprint viewer, there it is. Easy enough. And now I can import that. I can, when I save it, it's going to ask me what library to put it in. I have a parts library just for parts that we make here. And I save it, and now I can use it in any project I want. If you'd like to have more tips like this, please follow me at Make Augusta and Datasheet Digest. Uh, again, I'm David with Cyber City Circuits, and I'll see you next time.